The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Messiah. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking, not as God does, but as human beings do. The Gospel of the Lord An old story was told that a little child was on a big ship when on the great ocean the ship met a big storm all the passengers got rattled and they behaved well in their cabins so that they might feel secure because water started to enter into the ship. However, there was a little child who was seen to have been enjoying the waves, the big waves, and just played, continually played in the alley. And so an old lady said, Dear boy, you go to your parents because we are in danger. Don't keep on playing there. Are you not afraid we are about to drown? But the boy smiled at her and said, Do not be afraid. I am not afraid because the captain is my father. My dear friends, yes, it is true. For one who has faith, there is no fear at all, no matter what happens. Because he who has faith has already surrendered himself, submitted himself to the will of God and knows that whatever happens, the Lord will not abandon him. When Jesus asked his disciples, who do they say that he is? He was just trying to test them whether they really have faith in him. They really believed in him. And it was Peter who confessed this faith. And the confession of Peter which says, You are the Son of God. I believe in you, Lord. After that, Jesus said to him, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. The profession of Peter is the profession of faith of the whole church. And after that, Jesus, knowing that with the leadership of Peter, there will be enough faith for the church 
to move forward no matter what happens, Jesus instructed Peter and told Peter he will be the rock of faith. In other words, no matter what happens to the church, as long as the rock of Peter, the faith of Peter is there, the church will move forward. And that is why, my dear friends, if we know the history of the church, there has been a lot of times that even in the church, we have made a lot of scandals. There were a lot of storms that the ship of faith of Peter has been rocked. But even in the midst of scandals, even in the midst of the church's sinfulness, the church even today continues to live on. Because Jesus knows well that in the midst of its sinfulness, the faith of the church makes this church move forward. That is why today we also remember a great saint, John Mary Vianney, the patron of all the diocesan priests, to remind us that the mystery of Christ's forgiveness in the midst of a lot of our own weaknesses, we just have faith in Him. We just hold on to Him. So much so that we should accept ourselves just as God accepts us for who we are. If we have experienced in our life a lot of storms, a lot of destruction, a lot of discouragement, a lot of challenge with regards to our faith, let us renew that faith in Him. Like Peter, let us profess that faith in Him, in the Son of God. And even if we are disturbed, even if we are perplexed, even if we are struck down, let us always stand up and let us ask the Lord that we may believe in Him truly so that whatever happens, we may profess the same faith as Peter professed it before God. And together to Jesus we say, You are the Messiah, the Son of the Living God. Thank you.